I'm Jesse. Today, thanks to Student Edge, we're going to go inside a career and find out if it's the right job for you. Now, houses come in all shapes and sizes, but have you ever thought about what's actually involved in selling one? Which is why today, we're at Altitude Real Estate to see if it's the right job for you. Today we're having a chat to someone who knows all about the real estate industry, Paul Tonich, Director of Altitude Real Estate. Hi Jesse, Paul Tonich. Hi mate. Look today, we want to find out exactly what it takes to do what you do. So do you reckon you can show us around? Yeah, no problem, let's go. Cool. Jesse, come into my office and I'll answer your questions. Cool man. So Jesse, what do you want to know? Well mate, you've won countless awards. I want to know exactly how you got to where you are? Uh, at the age of 26, I was looking at a career change and I just purchased a property a few years earlier and the real estate agent actually called me when he heard about that and said, hey, why don't you come and have a look at real estate? Um, struck my interest, I had a meeting with him and uh, didn't look back. I think when I, when I look back at, at why my results have been what they are, it's my ability to communicate. I really went out and met with some great people that showed me probably just the little tweaks you've got to do to um, have the ability to win trust really quickly. We only get 45 minutes with someone. In that 45 minutes, obviously we've got to know our product and our strategies, but winning their trust is probably the best thing you can do to really step ahead in the career and get away from the pack. So Paul, I imagine being a real estate agent is just all about selling houses. Uh, no, it's a lot more than that. Um, really, you get to see a, a broad part of society and when someone calls you, they actually have a problem that you've got to solve and usually it's come off something that's happened in their life. Sometimes it's a death of a family member, sometimes it's actually a job promotion or having kids or even a marriage breakup. And at the time, you have to be able to, I suppose, relate to the people and actually um, absorb their pressure and stress or actually listen and actually know what they want. And so part of it is not just actually putting the property on the market, it's actually understanding why. Okay, Paul, so let's go behind the scenes. I want you to take me through a normal day of a real estate agent. Yeah, firstly, it's seven days a week, no matter what part of your career you're involved in. You actually serve the public and you serve your clients. So, you know, you can set a structure for the week, but part of it is that we're reactive. The phone suddenly rings, you've had four or five things to do during that day, like getting marketing ready, um, writing ads, um, you know, talking to the owners. You've always got to be prepared, you've always got to be ready. And it's one of the things that the elite people in this industry know, always be able to be contactable, always be on call, and that's a really hard balance as you do develop, maybe getting married or a family, um, of keeping that sustainable. Well mate, it looks like there's a lot of hard work, but there's also a lot of rewards. Yeah, absolutely. It's probably the first opportunity that a lot of people get to open a business within a business. Um, it allows that if you are a creative type, that you've got full autonomy on where you can take things, you've got the ability to be flexible with your time, but there is huge financial rewards. Someone come into the industry that could actually work hard for the first couple of years, by year three or four, they could be taking home anywhere between 600,000 to a million dollars a year. Mm. And that's not totally unusual for the elite performers. Okay, Paul, so now it's time to give us the edge. I've got three questions for you. What makes a good agent? Huge energy to start with, um, great enthusiasm, and the real ability to win trust with people. How do I become an agent, and what qualifications do you need? Um, you don't have to have gone through uni. Um, you do need to be licensed, so you do a course with the Real Estate Institute. But really, there's a chance for a traineeship. A lot of good agents are looking for personal assistance. After maybe two or three years, those people develop into salespeople themselves and build their own business. Okay, Paul, so if you could start again next week, what's one thing you would do differently? I think I'd understand that I could have joined the industry earlier. When I did join, I was 26 years of age, the average age of an agent was 57. And I had this perception that you maybe had to be old and grey to get credibility with owners. Nowadays, at the age of 20, you can start as an agent. You just gotta have drive and ambition. Well, Paul, thanks so much for having a chat to us today. No worries, Jesse. So there you go. Hopefully now you've got enough information to decide whether being a real estate agent is the right career for you. For more information and to get involved, hit up studentedge.com.au.